Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Borderlands. So this is Latican 014. In the last part, we just uh, came back to the cauldron so we could uh, finally go into Janus Town. So I think that's a good choice. I did check the the med vendor real quick, and uh, he does have a okay uh, assassin's mod. Uh, let's see what it goes. Killer right over here, and I think deadly right. So uh, no lethal strike. We have no use for lethal strike, so uh, anything that does have a lethal strike uh, and some other skill, then uh, I will pass up on because it's not really going to help us with what we need at the moment. So, uh, man, I keep walking off. Can't forget the runner. So, <laughs> let's uh, actually drive over there now and run something over on accident. This thing spawned? Eh, I guess they didn't. But uh, as you can see, there are red lines. Uh, it means there's turrets. Eight turrets, but we gotta take care of them. So if this can straighten itself out and steady. Well, I guess I'll just get some direct hits on it. I don't think I can get the critical uh, hit from over here. Not unless I had like the Cyclops or something. That would be sweet if I did have one right now. But uh, no, it's a no-go. So come on, die already, will ya? Because there's another turret I have to deal with. I wonder if I can shoot through here. Oh, yes, I can. <laughs> this makes it much simpler. Alright. Let's just keep shooting, then. I'm going to get rid of these turrets before I actually charge in there and uh, get myself killed. <clears throat> that should finish most of them off. I wonder if uh, any guys I have to deal with. I think I see someone. Is that... Yeah, that's a... Badass Psycho. You know, get a good shot off on him. Are you kidding me? The stupid tree. Alright, hopefully this is good now. There we go. Got his attention. Come straight at me, bro. Oh, come on. F you, man. Alright. Who else was shooting at me? Don't like bullets whizzing by my head. One more. Bring it, come on. Make my day. Oh, you're over here. I think that's about it. I don't see any more uh, gunfire. Ooh, a little chunk of them fell on the ground. <laughs> nice. Oh god. Always resorting to the grenades. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Took you down. Alright, let's see. I thought there was one more guy I had to deal with. I think he's maybe behind the fence or just in this corner. Woo! Got him. Alright, so, uh... This is the boss fight against Taylor Cobb. The only problem is, uh, when you do walk in there, there will be turrets. And that's the first thing I want to be taken care of. So, let's just walk close. And, uh, yeah, there they go. So, rocket turret against my rockets. Oh, I missed on that one. There we go. We should be good now. We just got bruisers to deal with. Ah. Uh, can't see anything. Alright. I think all that's left is Taylor Cobb. There we go. Throw a grenade. Get rid of... Alright. We'll get rid of you, bruiser, first. Just because you're easier. <laughs> and there's this a-hole. Ah, got hit. Saw that rocket come straight at me. There we go. And he's down in... Uh, he does drop a special weapon. It is called the Roaster, so you see it right here. Now, do your best to prepare yourself for what's ahead. I'll contact you again soon. Uh, and as you can see, uh, it's a unique rocket launcher, but uh, I don't think it's that special compared to other uh, incendiary-type rocket launchers, but it does have burst, and usually they are pretty decent. Not uh, overly spectacular, but um, there's something you can use. As you can see, uh, the said this one had a high fire rate, but that's only because uh, it's a burst count, so you fire your whole clip. But uh, burst ones are fun because uh, <laughs> they're good for raining down death on everyone. So, as you can see, I'm just going to kill this guy outright. 
So that should get them pretty far down. Uh, there's this guy up here. Wow, that didn't even do anything. Well, I'll kill you first. Just because you're available. Oh, looks like he has a carnage. I think they're carnages, right? Ah, oh, stop it. Come on. You know you're not going to win. Yeah, terrible carnage. There were uh, shotguns that shoot rocket launchers. Not terribly useful. Some of the elemental ones are decent. But they're nothing uh, that I'd go out of my way for. See you. Ugh. Oh. <laughs> Just bounced off of thin air. Haha, -ha, that got ya. Let's see if I can get this guy from here. Because he's, he's annoying because he's a red dot on my map. There we go. Now I feel better. So we just got to talk to the Claptrap uh, that is guarding the way to the Trash Coast. But after we access this area, I actually got to head back and grab a lot of quests. Because uh, I think there are about four or five quests that are located in um, located in the Trash Coast. But also, uh, not only that, uh, we also got to talk to Crazy Earl again. And uh, we all love Crazy Earl. That crazy bastard. <laughs> so... Let's keep going, uh, spider ants again. Just throw some... Pop some mother... Oh! Good try, good try. One more. Darn low clip. Whatever. Three at once. Nope. Eat my machete. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's a machete, but uh, it is some sort of. Uh, it close, closely resembles a sword of some sort. It doesn't look too bad. Uh, you don't really get a good look of it because it swipes by the screen pretty quickly, and uh, you really have no other way of actually getting a good look at it. So that's a shame. But uh, this claptrap is funny, so I'm going to be quiet while I talk to him. Uh, let you guys hear his dialogue. He's great. It's one of my favorite claptraps. I can listen to you move your disgusting meat flaps, or I can stick an electrode up my back panel and call it paradise. I will comply with what you need, then get out of my scan range. Prepare yourself. Your next challenge awaits. It might seem insurmountable, but you can do this. You will prevail. Oh, Alright, as you can see, it uh, tells us we have more quests. So, another piece of the puzzle. The Guardian Angel spoke cryptically of a challenge that awaits on the Trash Coast. And Tannis thinks another piece of the Vault Key can be found here. Given the way things have worked out so far, you're probably going to need to overcome this mysterious challenge before you'll be able to obtain the third fragment of the Vault Key and return it to Tannis. Yep, pretty much, so let's enter right into the Trash Coast. Because uh, I want to activate the fast travel hub that is uh, located just right in here. But uh, before we head off, I'm going to head to the vendors right away. Uh, mainly for the fact of um, we do head for the vendors. You prepare yourself. You have come very far in your journey, but it is not yet over, and it is not yet time to rest. Much depends on your actions moving forward. This last challenge will be your greatest. All right. As I was saying, um, I want to check these before they uh, become a different um, thing. So, ooh, look, focus, caliber, and sniper rifle critical hit damage. So what is it we have now? 75, 3, and 2. And this one has 75, 3, 2, and 6 sniper ammo generation. So I'm going to go switch that out. I would like just to uh, not have to worry about ammo too much. And we can sell this for a decent amount of cash back. Not as much as what I would like. It's never as much as I would like. Always looking for the next best thing. Let's see, what can we buy here? I think we have all these STUs, yeah. All that's left is the orange STUs. Ooh, I wonder if I can get anywhere from up here. That would be sweet if I could find something up here. Climb, climb, climb Mordecai. Uh, nope, nothing. So, um, the first thing to do is head to Crazy Earl's because uh, he has a quest for us. So, let's head into his scrapyard. And now, surprisingly, I think this will be the actual last quest we get from this guy. 
I don't think we get to see much more of him after this, so that's a shame. Okay. See the sniper rifle ammunition uh, recharge? It doesn't take too long. At least it's enough, uh, it's especially during the downtime. Yep, that ch vault chump, or that chump vault hunter is right in front of your doorsteps. So, Earl's best friend. My best friend, the bandits, took... Uh, I'm out to the trash coast. You gotta save him. I'll do anything, just don't let him kill him. <laughs> so, Im, I'm, is... So that's his name? Seriously? <laughs> Never even noticed that before. I just don't usually read the little text because uh, it's. Uh, I will say it's a very bad way to implement um, plot and uh, dialogue. I would much rather just have voice acting, just like Tannis, Helena Pierce, and Scooter, uh, however limited that may be. So I uh, find that much better than having to read through everything. But at least you have me. I'm going to read through everything for you guys, so you guys don't miss uh, much of anything. Especially if you're here for the story, uh, whatever story there is in this game. So uh, we have the crazy, crazy Earl's best friend to free up, but we also have some quests in, uh, I think, the middle of nowhere, if I'm correct. I think these are quests that are located there. Just to make sure before Claptrap notifies us of uh, what we have to do. Any day now. Alright, so let's see. Yeah, I see it's blue again, so that means there's more quests. Let's check. So, bait and switch. Collect a green spider ab abdomen and swap it for the bandits. Yeah, there he goes notifying us after we reach here. Attempts at human inhabitation or human habitation along the trash coast have always failed because spider ants overwhelm anyone who tries to live there. The bandits managed it, though, by placing a queen spider ant abdomen in the middle of their camp, I want you to take an abdomen from a rival queen, then replace the bandits with that one. Let's see if the spider ants will do our dirty work for us. Get a nice reward out of that, so you see there's a revolver reward. Next one, go to the trash coast and kill bleeder. How's funny. I live in New Haven, but I can't stand having a woman in charge anymore, so I found a nice bit of waterfront property out in the trash coast. Trouble is, there's a bunch of them scythed whatever the hell's hanging out round outside including a really tough one called Bleeder. Kill him, Scythids, especially Bleeder, and I'll be able to get the hell away from this place. Uh, kinda sounds like Eric Franks, doesn't it? Complaining about his woman, too. So, uh, let's see. We don't really have anything else to do. I can check... Ooh, there's a double anarchy, but, uh, I really don't use them on sniper characters. If it was a soldier, Brick, um, Brick, Roland, or Lilith, all of those actually use them pretty well. So I think that would be all the quests we need, right? Everything's trash coast. But before we go, we gotta head back to New Haven so I can show you a special Easter egg that uh, they put into the game. I think uh, now it's available, right after you enter trash coast and get the quest for another piece. Because most people will go straight for that and uh, not even realize this is here. So let's turn right around. And as, uh, as you've seen before, we've headed in this area a couple times, but you always heard a certain noise. You can, might be able to hear it now. And uh, right here it opens up, and it's the only time it opens up, and the reason it opens up because uh, this is located down here. I jump right away because uh, I gotta deal with freaking mutants. There's a lot of them. Try to get rid of most of them, so hopefully uh, not too many flaming ones. Here's a badass one, he's stuck. Uh, looks like we're good, so let's just keep him there and give him one good headshot. And we're good, we leveled up, nice! So, let's uh, put that point in right away. We went in gun crazy. And, whoa, jeez. Still spazzing out. Well, paper thin arms now. <laughs> That's funny. But uh, right here is a scene from the Chris. What was it? The Christmas story, what it was called? But um, there's a reason for that because. Um, ooh. Really crap stuff. But right over here is a special gun. And, uh, as you can see, right here, the rider. <laughs> Careful, you might put someone's eye out, so, uh, referring to the rider BB gun that he got on his, uh, 
for his Christmas present, and then I think he did shoot his eye out. I never really watched it, I just heard about it, so. Uh, where is that thing? Yeah. So that's about it. Um, the music keeps going. Uh, it's like you're in a counter, but uh, you're already out. So if you want it to right now, you can actually just uh, keep going after the rider. And uh, just save an exit and go right back down there and get another rider until you get like all the elements and then a raw damage one. So <laughs> that way you can uh, complete your cor uh, collection. Uh, I think also uh, those things scale. So what, what, le what level was the rider at? At 21, so uh, let's say I was level 69 already, because uh, you can do that. You just gotta uh, cheat the game a little bit. Not really cheat it, but exploit it. And uh, get yourself up to that max level before you even start the first mission. And then by the time you reach here, everything should have been scaled at least decently. And then you just keep going after it. I think the highest ones I've had were like level 43 riders, but couldn't get them higher than that. So uh, let's just uh, go back to the Trash Coast think yeah we have old haven but that can uh, wait for another time until everything's needed at you know that place so let's head right into the trash coast don't want to head into any of the uh, DLC areas just by accident anytime soon all right so uh, you know let's let's do the first quest well what do we could do we could do bait and switch no yeah, this sounds like the best choice. Let's go kill Bleeder before we end off this episode. And Chops have new inventory, so let's go for that right away. I like to get my new stuff. And it's a bunch of crap, so yay. Alright, we got our grenades, so uh, I thought I would have to refill, but looks like uh, somehow I managed to get all my grenades again. And we get to see an old enemy that we haven't seen in quite a while, right up here. So you can see attacks the crab worms. <laughs> It's been quite a while since we actually seen these guys, but uh, they are pretty tough. Not an incredibly tough, because if you can still hit them in the eye, then uh, they're down for the count. Though, though with the sniper rifle, not the easiest thing to do. Um, I do prefer using a shock-type weapon on them, because uh, that does do the best job. Uh, rocket launchers also do a fair amount of damage to them. And let this guy burn out. Especially uh, if you have an explosive type weapon. Let's see, I do have one, I think. Yeah, right here. There we go. This will be fun. Um, if you do enough damage to them, they actually explode into mist. I think I showed that off like one one time, once or twice. Not too many times, at least. So uh, there should be more crab worms here. There's one. Get him a good hit. And there you go. I hit him and uh, he turned into purple mist. <laughs> don't even expect it to hit the criticals, but uh, it does. An explosive does quite a bit of damage to them, as you can see. Just wait for him to pop up, turn his head around. Oh, purple mist. <laughs> There's one over there. There we go. I think also uh, it procs well because I have gone crazy on it. Sometimes it will proc two bullets at once, which is amazing. You can see his parts just fly. I love that. So uh, let's go right here. Here's the house on the waterfront that he was speaking of. And Bleeder should appear right from here. Should start spurting a bunch of crap. So any day now. I'm just going to keep throwing grenades because uh, they're easy to get rid of that way. And fire rate has much to be desired. Okay, I think Bleeder's finally going to appear now. Let's give a warm welcome to our friend. Not really our friend, because we're going to kill him. So come on, where are you at? There you are. As you can see, Bleeder. <laughs> he actually is bleeding. A lot of blood just squirting out from this, you know, butthead. So let's go. Stop bleeding on me. You're bleeding all over me. Oh, and this should finish him. Ha ha. <laughs> Just give him a good whack. And uh, he sometimes drops decent weapons, but not all the time. Uh, I have scored some Iridian weapons often before. Uh, oh, when did you guys spawn again? Man. Totally uncalled for. There we go. Purple Mist. And you can check out his waterfront real quick. It's not a hugely uh, impressive place. 
It's got like sewage and crap all over. I think you can head in the water. I might die. Let's check it out. Yeah, I'm not in the boundaries. Good. So we can head up here. There's no way into the house, sadly. Uh, I would like it to be, just, just to check things out, you know, for my exploration. But really nothing else. You can kind of jump in here and see it's like totally empty. That's <laughs> not even one thing. So, you know, I think this does it for this episode of Let's Play Borderlands. This is Laticano 14. In the next part, we will continue on this route over here so we can, uh, you know, make our way over to the, the spider ant queen that we need to abdomen from, free his friend, and also uh, we have another Claptrap STU that is located right up here. You can see it right up there, the repair kit. So, uh, there's something to look forward to. So, uh, until next time, I will see everyone later.